Y'all wanna know what I did? <laughs> See that tire mark right there? Yep, right off into the drainage ditch. My left front tire. I was able to get out. I just stopped, thought about it a minute, thought if I could just get up a little bit, I could turn my tire, and that's exactly what I did. You can see right there. So, I thought I was a goner. All right, that's why I'm out of breath. <laughs> Freaked me out. Let's go in here and look for a geocache. Well, I'm walking through the Buffalo Gap Cemetery looking for a geocache. Not only a geocache is here, but I have some family buried here. The wind's blowing, so let me get up here and I'll talk about that. Yeah, the wind will probably be better in here. There's a lot to do in a cemetery. Um, well, another one of my hobbies, and I have lots of hobbies, so I never get bored. Um, I just change them out. When I get tired of one, I go to the other. So. Another one of my hobbies is gene genealogy. So I have an old, old, old um, family member uh, doing my genealogy. I tracked him here to um, Buffalo Gap, uh, Buffalo Gap Cemetery. And I've been here and I've found them. And I took pictures, and somehow I can't find the pictures now. And so I'm going to go see if I can find them again. I think I know the general vicinity of where they're located. And at this point, I might not even know. <laughs> remember their names. I got to think about who's here. But that's I'm doing some geocaching and some genealogy all in one trip. I do remember that the headstones are really, really old. So... I was going to go get this geocache first, and then I'll go, I think it's in, I remember them being in the center of the cemetery with some old uh, headstones. All right, I found the geocache. Look, it's right here on the outside of this little travel trailer. Isn't that cute? Adventure awaits. Isn't that cute? All right. This is a little micro, and there's the logbook. Okay, I found them. Springfield, that's right. <laughs> I knew it was the old part of my family. 1900, so yeah. I do want to get some pictures so I can add these to the genealogy website, Ancestry.com. Uh, he was born in 1827 and died in 1900. Died 1886. Well, I walked right to him. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. So like I said before, there's a lot to do in a cemetery. <laughs> you can do genealogy and you can geocache and just check out all the interesting uh, headstones. And I just noticed something. M, is that a U? Z, P, H, is that Hebrew? Mitzpah. It has no born date, so nobody knew. Died 1885. If I think I know what that means, um, which I think I do, what I think that means in Hebrew is the Lord keep us together even though that we're apart or something like that. Um, I have it written down somewhere. So I'll put it on the screen. I am done at the cemetery. I'm on my way to Abilene State Park here in Texas. And I am about to cross Texas, 
going into Arkansas and my bucket list I have one one bucket list that I can say I have a bucket list and the only thing on my bucket list is to see all the Texas State Parks I've been to Abilene before but I'm gonna see how many I can get before the end of March so stay tuned and come along with my bucket list of Texas State Parks.